This video is about representing a rational function like this one with a power series centered at c equals to 3. So the first thing we would like to do would be to rewrite that. So there is a x minus 3. So here is the way to do it. You change an x to x minus 3. But then they will not be the same, will they? You, know, you have to add a 2 times 3 to compensate for what you do here. And then now you know this is really a 5 over, this is 6 minus 3, 3 plus 2 times of x minus 3. But we really want it to look like a over 1 minus r. We don't have a 1 here. So the next thing would be to divide by 3 everywhere. So if I divide by 3 on a numerator and divide by 3 on a denominator, I do get a 1, right? It is actually a 1 over here in disguise. So if I use the formula, then the formula is that this is equal to a r n, then this whole thing will be equal to sum a. Now r is not really two thirds of that, r is negative two thirds of that to the n. In essence, I got the whole power series. But that is not all. You should always. Right, so it's not enough to just have this, you must have absolute value of R less than one in order for that a over 1 minus r to become a series, okay? So this is in essence the power series, but you must tidy that up a little bit. And the way I suggest to tidy this up would be to take out a 5 and then a 3. Then there's a negative 1 here, so negative 1 to the n, 2 to the n, 3, and then 3 to the n, and what's left is x minus 3 to the n here. And that thing becomes absolute value of x minus 3 less than. Negative get killed because the absolute value psi 3 over 2. Okay? So this is good enough, but if you want to make it even nicer, you can change this part to 3 to the power of n plus 1. 